Welcome back everyone, today is not officially a build video, but there's enough clickbait out there already, so we might as well have some fun with the PTS, so I'm going to show you some really cheesy stuff. This is the Cheesy Sork build. <laughs> now, basically, the idea is this is basically the Easy Sork, and currently on PTS there are some vampire changes, there's some mythic items and all that good stuff, and they are a little bit overpowered. But there is a very strong downside to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the downsides and just show you the good stuff. Then I'll explain what you lose. So basically, if you're a vampire and you have these passives, obviously you are going to have access to these skills. But there are negative effects. So the higher your vampire stage, the more your skills cost. Although your vampire costs go down. So vampire skills are cheaper. Our skills are more expensive. Hitting in the middle somewhere, around stage 2, is actually quite nice. So, we can take advantage of this skill. This takes health off you every one second, but you get a massive 660 um, weapon and spell damage. Bonus increases by almost, well, in fact, double if you have it for the full duration and keep it running, but so does the cost. So, you take lo lots and lots more health, you do lots and lots more damage. This is stupidly strong, but it's a toggle ability. You turn it off or on. So, we're going to use this to stack spell damage, and we're going to use crit surge... To actually heal us. So we lose health. We gain health. Simple. Cancels itself out. Something else to note. Um, obviously if you have paid attention to the antiquity system. You'll know that there are some mythic items in the game. So we're going to show you a really really stupidly overpowered one. This one here. Thracian Stranglers. This is a one piece set. And it goes on your hands. And if you kill enemies. You are granted a stack of Slode's Call. And this can go up to 20 times. Every single one you get gives you 150 spell damage. Also, you take 2% more damage. So this can both stack up to 20 times. So you end up with 3,000 spell damage and 40% extra damage taken. Now just bear in mind, of course, you do need to kill enemies to get this. So in a standard trial where there may be not many adds, or maybe there are, you could utilize this or you could not. So there's a lot of sacrifice to gain. You lose health to get damage. You lose survivability to get more damage output. This is stupidly powerful if you can stay alive. Now, let's just face it. Most people won't be able to do this. However, if you've got one of those groups that really, really mitigates with your tanks and healers and stuff, maybe you can. We are trying to pump out some extra crit. We're going to use Sororia so we can pump out loads and loads of spell damage. We're going to stack them all up. Now, how do you do that on a dummy? Because you need to get kills in order to be able to proc it. So we do this. We put on Meteor. More for the shooting star. And this gives you ultimate every time you hit an enemy. Full. So what you do is you spam this a little bit. Until they're all dead. So we'll fast forward this bit. Nobody <laughs> Now, basically, this is now covered. Because I got 20 kills, I now have 20 stacks of Slode's Call. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see on the very far left, there is 20 stacks of that Zamaja looking buff. That is my spell damage. And without considering the vampire skill, which we're going to use, I'm already sitting on a whopping 7k max spell damage. That's, without, that's with a potion running. We have the buffs off the dummy. 8.4 with the vampire skill we're gonna go over 11k so as you may know mines are difficult to use but if you can get to grips with them you can hit some targets with two at the same time so an example of that is this we'll move him away from the wall there we go now if you place them carefully you can make two go off at once two popped one didn't if you aim at a different angle you can make two go off Two went off, one didn't. Now that happens a lot. And if you're very good at positioning them, in content, you can actually utilize that. And it will do a stupid amount of damage. But if you're very clever, and your tanks are really good at stacking stuff near walls, you can of course do this. This is not news, by the way, but this is going to make a big difference when I show you the demonstration. So if I fire this, one is technically up against the wall, so that goes off because he's too close. So that's three. Big boom. 
So, I'm going to show you what happens when you put this cheesy vampire skill on with our crit surge so we don't die because we take health every second and alongside the 20 target dummies that we nuked that counted as enemies to give us a stupid amount of spell damage. So, here we go. Now, if you do that with this, where he's here, you can actually get stupidly high numbers all the same. You'll notice that Daedric Mines was like 50%-ish. On this dummy, when he's moved, you can actually get anywhere between 40 to 45, sometimes even 48, 49, if you're really lucky, percent uptime or damage output from Daedric Mines alone. And still, although that was about 130, you can still get 110 to 115 on its own. Now, the funny part is, although this is technically cheesy some content you could get away with putting stuff on the walls some content you could get away with this vampire ability while actually using this to negate the other side of it and in some content you might be able to kill loads of stuff keep that buff up forever and do a stupid amount of damage the risk for reward is there intentionally if you can use this without dying in some content it's stupid i don't doubt that this won't get reduced in coming weeks this is only week one of pts but if it doesn't, this may possibly be one of the most powerful things we've ever seen for Magicka DPS. The downside is, don't die. So hopefully it helped, hopefully it wasn't too boring, hopefully that was somewhat funny, because these are mad pieces of equipment added to the game. They are stupidly overpowered, but there is a risk. So that's always fun. Now, new learn-to-play aspect, if you want to use them, get good. Anyway... First of all, thank you all very much for watching. I hugely appreciate the support. If you are not subscribed on YouTube or following on Twitch, please do hit those buttons. They are free. Furthermore, if you want to help support outside the channel, there are some links in the info section for Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, and of course the website, zynogaming.com, where all the written guides are as well. I may do a couple more of these funny PTS type ones, but failing that, there's some more all about mechanics videos coming very, very soon. 
Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.